Oh my god, it's been way too long. It's been way too long, guys. I am actually going to do a podcast today. It's podcast 38, if I'm not mistaken, guys. It's been a while. It's been way too long. Um, took a break from podcasting just because at the beginning of lockdown, Wi-Fi was terrible, literally. To upload a, a, a podcast took way too long. It was like two days, three days, because the connection always got interrupted. But hopefully I'm going to try my luck, and hopefully this time it'll be a lot better. Um, I haven't made a video at all in a while, to be honest. And I was like, it's, get, it's getting a bit too too long since I made a video. Like, people are going to get concerned, you know? Um, thank you for all... What, must be 110 of you now? I keep getting new subscribers, thank you. Um, like, from the last video, got a lot to be grateful for. And yeah, I've been, like, a bit fed up recently, to be honest. Because we're not really in lockdown, but we are in lockdown. It's getting eased, but should it really... Uh, people not following the rules, uh, going to the beach, going mental, um, all the BLM stuff that's happened. So much worth talking about. I made a few videos talking about things that, in the, you know, in the news and what I felt I had to say. But it's back to a podcast. And to really get to the, the bottom of everything, how I'm feeling, how you guys are feeling, I hope you're not too uh, fed up um, because Boris just confuses us every day I just I just need a holiday like it's not a selfish thing uh, I need a holiday but one thing I've really learned is that in, in this pandemic nothing revolves around one person like the world don't revolve around you uh, you need to have that wake up call that not everything happens because of you or f as a result of you you know you're just one person in the world and yeah, if you're comfortable in your situation, that's fine. But you've got to help those in need, really. There's those less fortunate and there's those suffering like, in terms of racism or whatever it is. And you've got to do your part to help whoever you are. And that's what I'm feeling at the moment. Like, I don't know. It's a strange time. Um, and I can't really moan about corona or lockdown. Who, who can? Because the generations before gave their lives, all this... Um, you know, in wars and stuff. And we're moaning about sitting on the sofa for three months. Or four months, however long it is now. More than a hundred days for me. Of like, shielding and lockdown. And my parents are back to work on the fourth. Uh, that's really stressful for them. Difficult, because if anyone with COVID does come in. Everyone's got to be at home for 14 days. And that means closing the shop again. So for a sole trader for a business. That's operating on its own is very difficult. Especially when landlords don't really give a shit. Because they've got plenty of money to, to to mess around with. But the people paying rent don't. Um, so it's a serious time. But I'm still grateful for a lot of things. Been a bit fed up this week especially. But I do refuse to say that it's difficult. Because it's not easy but it's not difficult. Like people have been through worse. And we're moaning about this, come on. You're bored, oh boo hoo. Anyway, I haven't even rolled the intro, have I? But yeah. Just put it in at the beginning. Who cares? Uncut me, this is, literally. Done a few live streams here and there. But nothing, like... Proper uncut. You know what I mean? But here we are. Podcast 38. I've missed doing this kind of video. I needed it. I mean, I've run out of content to do, really, kind of. Really, kind of? Is that a real way of saying something? No, I've just, like, got to the bottom of the barrel. Like, and the weather's a bit crap this week. Sun comes out, I'll be right out there. But yeah, that's another thing. This heat wave we've had, guys. You know, it's been unbelievable. <laughs> this heat wave. But, yeah, it, it was like three, four days of proper heat. Um, I, I admit I saw a few friends from two metre distances in their gardens friends I haven't seen for a while, it was good to see them, good to catch up, and just therapeutic, you know, and you know, people were joking about how they're going to lose all their social skills and all this because they're on lockdown, but no, quite the opposite, quite the opposite, um, had a lot of fun, went went to the park many days last week, met up with friends there too, just in the sun, chilling out, you know what I mean? 
everyone was doing the same thing really um, and in a way sadly when the pubs reopen well we're gonna well, it's not sad but when the pubs reopen we're not gonna be doing that anymore we're gonna be in the pub well I probably won't um, I just get drunk at home it's fine <laughs> no I won't do that because it's risky because like so, sod's law in it everyone goes there day one you know what else is gonna happen and now you've got a book at some pubs because you've got to sit down at a table you can't stand at the bar all this I'm not moaning but I'm just saying like it's going to be not as straightforward as it, you know as it's always been it's not going to be the same certain pubs probably won't reopen businesses have gone under as good or bad that may be um, that is the thing right now um, you know the hol- anything to do with holidays or hotels must be really struggling um, and get yeah, talking about hotels like speaking of my summer holiday it's all but gone really it'll be most of it spent in England little day trips here and there if we can if the shielding is lifted in, in August which I hope it is who knows it might change the idea tomorrow who knows with this government who knows I'd love to go but is it possible our flights have been cancelled that's for sure so flying's not an option uh, you know the other option uh, is driving to Italy which I've done many times did that last April for Easter went to Milan not going there anytime soon no way <laughs> but that was a great holiday but yeah so speaking of driving I have to do that I've done that many times in the past that is pre YouTube of course and I would have loved to vlog a lot of those t- holidays trips you know three days driving um, it's going to be great to vlog that if that's possible maybe later in the summer we'll go who knows but we're not certain it's like 50 50 really depending on how my parents do at work if they're really busy or not it'd be unfair really on the clients and sadly my grandparents are not going to Italy this year which they normally do so uh, to go and see everyone in their town will be like annoying for them to see us go and they can't go or frustrating so I kind of feel guilty for them but yeah I need to go I need to get drunk till 8am in the morning and just forget this year this last six months people say oh three months in lockdown well it's like it's been a shitty year to be honest good things in between no doubt but it's been a shitty year for me well for everyone but um yeah, I said, like I said at the beginning, don't revolve around you. And I've realised that it don't revolve around me, obviously. Things happen around you, but they don't just affect you, you know. Um, but yeah, it's a testing time. This year. Maybe even next year, somewhere next year. But yeah, you can't just... You might, I've been telling myself that you can't just complain all the time. Like, what's the point? You're bored, so what? Like, read a book. I haven't been bored once. Is that good or bad? And maybe that means I've got not much of a life. I never had a life before, maybe, no. Maybe that's what it means. <laughs> that I'm not bored now. It's weird. But yeah, I mean, you know. In, in a good situation with YouTube, anyway. Keep making videos. I, yeah, I've said I've kind of run out of ideas at the moment. But till the weather changes, that is. I mean, I always get a day when I'm a bit negative, like look at everything negatively then it just flips the next day or vice versa or week you know, depending on the weather in this case the weather's the least of my worries you know um, living in England you can't afford to let something that simple affect you in any way but in lockdown it does because I don't know it just changes your emotions um, not that I hate cloudy weather or rainy weather sometimes it's quite cool just to chill and hear the rain you know other times it really pisses me off um, can't beat hot weather people moaning about the heat wave I did too and the day the day we saw it was getting cooler we were like okay thank god and now it's here I'm like for god's sake bring back the sun where's the sun gone oh god and yeah I'm playing a lot of FIFA to be honest with friends and stuff Fortnite I'm back on Fortnite which if you don't know is another game where you shoot people and stuff and it was kind of cartoon 
It's not like Call of Duty or anything, where it's like lifelike. It's that kind of game where you parachute into a map and you kill people, you've got to survive to the end. If you don't know about video games. Um, so I've been doing a few live streams. I need to do a Fortnite live stream at some point. Forget my teammates playing on Fortnite. It'll be at least four of us. And we won a few times. So I'll get back to that soon. At some point this week, because it's raining. Or miserable anyway. Uh, that's the other thing, when it, even when it's a nice weather. It's annoying because like, I'll film a vlog, I'll be outdoors, all this. And I've got to come back and edit it. So I'm missing daylight in that time. Missing precious time. And can't really edit at night because my brother's on here playing Call of Duty, zombies, all that. Um, which is fun to watch as well. And I'll probably get distracted, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, no harm in uh, sitting here and editing while he's playing. But like I said, I'll get distracted. And the phone is ringing. It's ringing non-stop at the moment, guys. The amount of deliveries we're having. I'm going to have to answer that. And I'm back. Um, but yeah, sorry for the interruption. It's not going to be the longest podcast, this one. Um, we'll see. Uh, just because of upload issues. Fingers crossed. And of course, I got this quarantine haircut. Well, it's not quarantine. Locked out. Is it locked out? I don't even know. I got this haircut. That's, that's all I can say, really. Uh, I got this new haircut I'm really happy about. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I've got this new logo that you've seen from my last podca podcast. My last upload, anyway. This new logo that I got. Thanks again for that. Um, Andrew, I'm so happy. Um, guys, yeah, it's weird in this lockdown. I've made new friends, too, somehow. I don't know. It happens. Um, it's always good. I'm one of those people quite open to like meeting new people and stuff. Especially now, when the world's turned to shit. Um, yeah, it's weird. I'm a friend of my cousins anyway, so... Um, I have connections, guys, all over the world. That's for sure. Like, can't go wrong now, I've got the connect. Um, if any of you do want any similar logos, or anything, just get in touch. Um, or check, check out my previous video to get more details. Or I'll just put the... the, the uh, Instagram at the bottom here. That's a hint in editing to future me. Yeah, but I mean, think of, I, I got got like a question for you guys. Like, if you could go back to like say New Year's Eve, right? If you could go back in time and warn your past self about what was to come, how would you say it? Would you say it? Would you even say anything? I think I would say just be ready for shit to go down. Like, just be ready for the most annoying time of your life. Um, and BLM. <laughs> black Lives Matter, I'll be ready for that. Um, don't post a black square because you're just following a trend without actually knowing, knowing what you're following. I would say that, probably. And two metres, keep two metres, you know. <laughs> Even before it was a thing. I don't know, it would be weird. I, I'd say just like, I don't know, just, well, most people would be like, just stay at home, that's it. You've got to be fair load all this. But no, you think about it, like, New Year's Eve, nobody expected anything like this. You never do, but you know, like, every New Year, I know, like, there's, for as happy as I am, yeah, another year we survived, some shit's going to go down in a year for sure. Every year it's the same year before it was the same and then 2019 hit just as hard as 2020 in some ways there was no corona but there was other things that went on in my life that were sad and annoying and frustrating all those things and a lot of good things too a lot of great memories um, even 2018 was the same like new year starts you think yes it's going to be perfect nothing's going to go wrong but life is life it's never going to go perfect. If it was simple, it wouldn't be fun, would it? But it's exciting. Like, things happening is, like, part of life. There's no, no one time when it's going to be perfect. Um, no one year where nothing's going to go wrong. 
there's, there can be times in that year where it goes fine and it feels fine but at some point something's going to happen that's life you can't avoid it you're hurtling to chaos at a million miles an hour and there's nothing you can do so to sit there and cry and moan about it it's only going to make it worse because the chaos is inevitable you can't control everything I'm trying to control corona can we even do that yet it's been six months I don't know can we control it will there be a vaccine we'll see but you know what I mean like there's always that chaos that you can't avoid so if it wasn't corona it would have been something else not for everyone but for maybe for me personally or like one of you there would have been something maybe even before that this was a shitty year if something else happened you know I don't know everyone's different um, people reacting to this differently people that get obsessed like the gym freaks go mental I, I, I can't be bothered for that because I don't see when I look at someone if they've got muscles or not like if they're physically fit that doesn't make me judge the person because personally that doesn't matter to me because I'm not I can't suddenly go gym and work out and all this I couldn't physically do that anyway so it means nothing to me like yeah respect be healthy yeah fine eat healthy but this gym shit could I care less I do not care how wedge you are or not I don't care if you can lift up a bus it's about personality it's about what you've been through to get to where you are sacrifices you know and the nicest people have been through the most shit so make whatever judgement you want about me based on that you know the nicest people probably the loneliest people in some ways you know think about that about your own life you know people just just hate everyone like I don't know I don't understand those people <laughs> my brother being one of them just yeah we're all a bit narcissistic though if this time has taught us anything everyone's talking about their own problems when people have other problems problems in the world that are a lot worse but do we know about all of them no do we hear about all of them on the news no just get on I mean a lot of people just get on with their own lives and don't worry about the outside that's kind of what my brother tells me all the time but I care too much about other people about life about like the good and the bad like the amount of different people I talk to on a daily basis or in a week for example um, all, all across the world in that ways and the diff different people everyone's different one has a different outlook but I learn from all of these people and they probably learn something from me I hope hope one of, one of you at least are if it only affects one of you this video that's fine if I only get one view well that's not fine but if I get like 10 views I don't care because I don't get as many views as, I, as I'd like but I just keep going because if I stop they're not going to get any views am I you know how many times I've thought let me just give up on this because life is throwing too much shit at me but just when it's throwing more shit and it's going worse than ever that's when this is saving me and making me look back and think oh it's not that bad don't be so narcissistic why are you crying about yourself it's other people with bigger problems I always think that despite how bad my problems can seem compared to some of yours you know the obvious one <laughs> that doesn't doesn't appear to get me down but trust me life has a way of kicking you when you're down but um yeah for negativity there's positivity all the time for everything negative is something positive like one thing you might think of it one way and then the next day have a completely different opinion on the same thing same like issue just depends are you faced at the negativity or the difficult things that you can't control because that's the thing um, in my situation there's a need for control like when I can't control a situation it does annoy me quite a lot but there's a lot of this out of my control anyway so why should I think that way really it's like like I said you're going towards chaos anyway whatever you do good or bad just enjoy the ride <laughs> you know what I mean um, it's difficult I didn't want to say it's difficult but it is like there's, there's been more difficult things I, everyone's going to have PTSD because of corona but that's ridiculous that's not real PTSD or is it I don't know because life's going to kick you anyway 
corona or whatever it is some people react to it differently some yeah some people different have medical imbalances chemical imbalances that cause problems yeah that's fine but you know we're all gonna struggle along the way it's not gonna be easy if it was easy what would be the point what, what would be the point of anything you know like being a, a great football player or basketball player if it was easy what would be the point if, if it was easy everyone would be the best how can everyone be the best there's always one to stand out more from the crowd but yeah and there's a, a TikTok I saw it was like one of them ones that make you like thought provoking TikToks you know it's like people always look to the future and look forward to something and dream of a place they'd rather be some paradise somewhere some sunny beach some better job or anything or some relationship or whatever there was oh shit I pressed something <laughs> they always look to these things in the future like to attain to get to to reach you're looking up all the time it's human nature but what you don't realise is that like why can't you appreciate where you are now in this moment where you are now make the most of this because as a human you're always going to want what's coming next but looking forward is going to make time pass quicker and yeah maybe it's not good to look back either but I look back to go forward sometimes whenever I'm feeling down what do I do I know it's narcissistic I watch an older podcast or a vlog that I've done that makes me think about that moment and maybe how difficult I thought that was compared to where I am now you know I look back at those times to go forward but what the TikTok ultimately said is that uh, I sound crazy uh, it's just a TikTok it's just a, a motivational video but what it said is like why can't you live in the moment just live in the moment instead of looking forward to the future live in the moment and enjoy that moment because you don't know if the next moment's going to come or the future if you're going to get there in some sense like if you're going to achieve that dream or not because if you don't you'll be down hard if you do get there you'll want more like the bar will be just set higher and it'll be harder to get over that bar you know like if you get a BMW and you've got enough money to fine the next thing is you want I don't know, a better car you want a Ferrari you want a Porsche you want to upgrade like you think actors or celebrities that get to the top of some of, of some sort of industry want to stay there no they want to get even better they want to go up more and get more money in some ways a football player want, always wants to improve Ronaldo's always trying to improve even more Messi not so much because he's got that skill from when he was a kid but Ronaldo's always working extra hard he'll work harder than, the, than everyone else and that's how he'll beat you regardless of skill or talent or goals he scored more goals than anyone apparently the other day for Juventus speaking of Ronaldo but yeah oh, and of course that's the other thing football is back I haven't watched as much as I should but yeah since I've been away from podcasting Liverpool have won the league congrats to them they did it under circumstances that nobody would have thought of at the beginning of the year or last year they got a Champions League as well annoyingly against Spurs um, but yeah congrats to them I'm not going to sit here and be jealous. Yeah, I hated Liverpool before they won the league. I hate them more now. It's because they're rubbing it in on these fans. Um, but credit to them, they did it. And, you know, players like Jordan Henderson work their socks off. Talk about someone who works hard. We're going to get into it, you know. He's not the most skillful. But he is a good player, but you know what I mean? You work your socks off and you get there. Hard work, that's how they won it. And, you know, you've got to respect that. In life, you respect that too. Because a, a day spent working is never a day wasted, you know. Because you're, you're making money, you're working towards something or something. Whatever you want to do, you know. To, well, technically achieve your dreams. But then I, but like I said, you're always going to want more. So yeah, the message I want you to take is that instead of thinking about the future and where you're going to get to, and aspiring to where you're going to be, yeah, you can do that, that's fine. But enjoy the present moment because you could get hit by a bus tomorrow and not get to that future so enjoy, enjoy the moment you're in even now how difficult it is I'm trying to enjoy each day in some way at some point if something bad pisses me off or like all this racism stuff that really actually gets to me a lot like all that's gone on in that I'm just 
I'm doing, I've done a lot of research into you know Rodney King beatings how those coppers got away with it you know imagine that if any of these murdering cops got away with these things you know it'd be it'd be a far worse situation a far bigger riots and protests peaceful or not peaceful you know after Rodney King that was crazy and that was 92 or something it's like more than 20 years ago it's like 30 years ago it's like 28 years ago you know before I was born things like this were happening and it's not new it's not always there were many things before that and many incidents that I could sit here all day and talk about but I did research into history um, I watched a lot of Akala interviews and videos he was, he's like a historian who knows a lot about the Windrush and all that situation being a descendant of the Windrush generation himself uh, look into Akala he is he's a rapper as well and he really identifies with the social you know issues the cult not cultural but like the class issues in the UK especially and the things we don't understand about the history of the world that cause racism and all this but looking into a lot of that getting to the source of the problem to understand it to truly understand it not just all these girls on Instagram posting a black square because everyone else is doing it and the hashtag which like what well, the hashtag is powerful yeah but the black square thing is just you're doing it because you actually care you're doing it because everyone else is doing it when you're going down to the riots and getting your riot selfie in your riot outfit fake burning down a building or something or whatever getting your selfie and then going home saying yeah I believe in the cause I'm doing what everyone else is doing look you know it's no different from like any sort of trend you know but you've got to understand the reason you're protesting for this and I certainly understand it a lot more there's a lot I didn't know I admit I'm not a hateful person um, I'm not going to talk here talk about race or not race race is not racist uh, but I'm not a hateful person and you know not a racist one either I understand differences in people because I am different when I walk into a room roll into a room <laughs> you know I am different from everyone else in there and I accept that I embrace that but racism shouldn't be allowed you know but people still get away with it like subliminally in other ways like discreetly and out in the open as well as we've seen but just don't take it out on every cop you see they're saving lives they're helping people every day as much as when we clap for carers and the NHS and we say thank you to the NHS the police are part of that you know and we, you know people saying to fund the police no give them more money to train their police properly to not do that in America anyway and to be nicer to people I've never met a rude police officer here to be honest Maybe, and I'm white that's probably why or what you know because people judge people sadly they still judge people on the colour of their skin or well, the police do based on these racial things from history you know uh, based on the class of someone you know but it's not determined by race it's determined by class and who the people at the top see as inferior and not important you know so we've got to get past those mental problem barriers like um, and that's important and uh, yeah corona is important very more important because that's preserving lives we want to save lives but with this it's the same black lives do matter and you want to save lives um, yeah maybe stay at home but the protest was for a reason and people believe in that cause and the same reason you're staying at home is the same reason those people are protesting everyone whoever they are uh, the same, that's the same reason because you care about life some people just care about their life but you care about other lives you know and I don't know we'll see where this goes but some people just talk about it once and not talk about it again I'm going to keep talking about it because it's not going away this issue overnight it's not yeah you protests and things are done the things have got to change at the top we know this and I'm not even going to talk about any politician in particular but yeah here we are guys 
it is the 1st of July well when you're watching this it's not so happy July hopefully by the time you're seeing this well you actually you're probably back to work anyway but if you're not hopefully you are back to work or not in some cases I don't know whatever it's prob probably the 4th by the time you're seeing this if my internet bloody works to upload this podcast we'll see but I think it's been about half an hour so far um, might end it there I don't know I can't believe we used to do like an hour or two of podcasting it's crazy but I believe it is time for lunch um, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer thank you for your time because I needed oh god just burping in between I needed um, I needed this like to get it off my chest and I feel a lot better now and we'll see what happens might do a live stream uh, I might have done one by the time you've seen this probably a Fortnite one or FIFA we shall see but for me uh, thank you guys that is it you know stay humble stay true to yourself hurtle towards that chaos enjoying yourself not moaning you know don't live in what's to come live in the moment that's the only way I'm telling you guys um, you know take it in your stride you know as difficult as things are just try because know there's someone suffering more than you somewhere and it's not all about you just, that's what I've learned so much in the last four or five months and everyone's still learning you know like I'm 26 I'm a man child at 26 and every year or so you go oh yeah I'm a man now then something else kicks you in the teeth. Um, you know, all these different things that happen. At 21, I was like, yeah, I'm a man. I didn't know shit about shit at 21. I was a cocky little so-and-so. Um, I learned a lot since then. And I learned how to hold my liquor, hold my alcohol, keep it inside instead of out. Uh, but yeah, I don't drink Corona anymore for two reasons <laughs> I don't drink tequila either um, but tomorrow is another day we shall see I have to do a drunk podcast one day let's get drunk on a podcast <laughs> who knows might be drunk on the next podcast but this is the 38th one I think it's felt like I've done so many more I want to keep going with these podcasts when things get back to normal maybe get guests who knows we shall see guys but stay humble keep doing what you're doing stop whinging please just get on with it and hopefully we back to normal sooner rather than later fingers crossed anyway take it easy guys thanks for watching peace